the book of Acts of the Apostles, chapter number 2, verses 42. The Bible says, And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship and in breaking of bread and in prayer. One of the weapons the enemy uses is to separate you from fellowship. Not just in the church. The enemy wants to ensure that you live a lonely Christian life. You have no association. You have no friend. You have no people around you. Then once you are lonely, he's able to attack you and take you off. How many of you watch the animal documentaries? I do watch Not Joel. I love the cat family. They are the lions and the, the cheetahs and the leopards and so on. So what they do is in the multitude of many animals, they spot one. The first thing they do is they separate that one from there. The multitude of other animals. Once they are separated, they are able to be killed easily. Specifically, I love the lion versus buffaloes. Because when buffaloes comes in huge numbers, the lions cannot match them. But they normally time a lonely buffalo. They say a strayed buffalo. Then the first thing they'll do, one huge lion will hold his mouth so that he's not able to produce a sound <laughs> for others to hear. Because if they hear that one of them is in trouble, they will come in numbers and they will even kill that lion. So one thing the enemy does is it takes you off fellowship. That's why they are to continue in what? In fellowship. There is nothing you should value like fellowship. Value fellowship so strongly. 